Hello everyone, welcome to Cloud Part Shala's video series on Amazon Web Services, also commonly called as AWS. In this series, we would be looking at multiple services in AWS. We would be practically seeing how we create these services, how the services interact with each other and can combinedly provide us infrastructure services. Today in this uh, series, we would be looking at the VPC, Virtual Private Cloud. If you log into the AWS console, go to the console homepage and if you type VPC at the top, you should be able to see it over here. Now I would strongly suggest to you to start to bookmark these uh, services so that they could appear on the top of your screen. So we go to the VPC and if you see, we already would be having one VPC in our region. Now this is the AWS region and currently I am in US East 1. Now, If you see, I already have a VPC and this says default vpc is equal to yes that means it is a default vpc now if you see the cider range of a default vpc it starts from 172.31.0.0/16 and a bunch of other things that are associated with this the question is can and should we delete a default vpc let's try to answer the first one can we delete a default vpc uh, all I could do is select the VPC and at the bottom I would have an option that says delete VPC. Now if I scroll down I would be asked to punch in the statement saying that I am ok to delete my default VPC and I click on delete button. And if you wait for a few seconds the magic happens and the VPC or the virtual private cloud provided to us disappears now what if we wanted the VPC again right so let me refresh the page uh, you would also not see anything at the bottom so it should all be gone so should you be creating uh, should you be having a default VPC or should you be creating your own VPC if it's purely for learning purpose we would suggest you to use the default VPC but if you also want to learn AWS architecture, if you want to understand how individual components are running, we would strongly suggest you to delete the default VPC and go ahead and create your own VPC. To the developers and the development members who want to have their default VPCs, can we get back the default VPC? The answer is yes. We click on default VPC and I click on create default VPC and this would create a default VPC for us, right? So this is how we create and delete a default VPC. Can we have two default VPCs in the same region? The answer is no. Uh, there's only one default VPC that's possible or available in a particular database region and that is the VPC that we just created. Yes, I definitely can delete the VPC again and then create it back. And uh, that's that's getting deleted. If I look at the details, it's it's deleting all of these things. Uh, uh, it, it deleted a VPC endpoint, uh, it deleted a bunch of things. Um, this entire video series is dedicated for those uh, smaller things. So we would be looking at individual component on a whole. Now uh, if I had to create, I, I would go to actions and I click on create default VPC and this is how I get my VPC back. So this is the default VPC that I have. If you see, uh, every time you create a default VPC, the default CIDR range is always 172.31.0.0.16. We hope you like the video and that it is adding more value. If you want to see more such these, please encourage us by hitting the like button and sharing the video to reach more people. Thank you so much for watching. Keep having a good time.